Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali. I'm a professional makeup artist based in Paris and in today's video I'm going to show you three speedy makeup looks. All of them are looks that you can recreate at home. They're timeless, they're super classy and they work for everybody. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed already. Now let me show you the three looks. For this look, I want to do a pretty matte complexion. So I'll be using the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer in Blurring. Now, this not only blurs the pores, but also it mattifies the skin. I only use it in the center of the face, where throughout the day my skin gets very oily and my pores tend to look even bigger. I've used this the past few days and I absolutely love it. If you have oily skin, I can't recommend this enough, especially under the mask in this area. I get very oily and very, ugh, like I hate it. I'm gonna be using the Hyaluronic Hydra Foundation from By Therese. This has SPF 30. And right now my perfect match would be 300N. So it's 300 neutral. Taking a damp beauty blender, This foundation has a satin finish. It sets. It does not have that dewiness. A touch of concealer from Jouer. This is in the color Macadamia, the same beauty sponge. For speedy makeup looks, I think that a beauty blender or just a sponge, it's so practical. Film Star Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in Fair Medium and I've been loving this guy. Taking a brush and applying this on top of the cheek where I would naturally tan and then also on the brow bone. You can see this is not too dark, right? So I can really dig in. I had to stop for a second because my hair was coming uh, on my face, so did a cute uh, half ponytail. Don't forget the nose as well. And a little bit the chin. And also the neck. The neck is always the lightest. Then I'm gonna take this Shiseido Minimalist Whipped Powder Blush. This is in Ayao 05. And I know it looks very dark, but actually on the skin it looks pretty much like this. And then this, I get it on the highest points. This color is perfect for a bronzy look where the cheeks look a bit, you know, burned as if you were in the sun. I apply it on the brow bone as well. Benefit Gimme Brow. And this is a tinted brow gel. If you do have a little bit of eyebrow material in there, but they're mostly blonde, this is a great, great product. So this will give you color and it will also discipline your eyebrows. Eyelash curler. Mascara from Swede. A little bit of the highlighter that goes uh, in the palette and with the same brush I will do a very quick swipe under the eyes because I haven't applied powder in there right this is the skin without any setting powder on the lips I'm applying this matte pencil from uh, NARS. This is in the color Walkie Fire. And then with my fingers, I spread it so it just looks like, um, like a stain. 
and that's it and this is one look I would call it more like a bronzy look I believe it works great if you wear light clothing it's super fast it's easy it brightens your skin although it does have quite a lot of color okay now for this look I want to do something very luminous with a little touch of pink I'm gonna start with the Hollywood flawless filter from Charlotte Tilbury and I will apply it on the highest points of the face this is not a foundation, it's not a highlighter, it's somewhere in between. MAC 133 brush. Of course you could apply this all over your face. I prefer to just focus it on the highest points. Power Fabric Concealer from Giorgio Armani in the color 4.5. Get me closer please. This is a very, very stretchy concealer. that has a satin finish also apply it not just under the eyes but try to stretch it around the nose I want to show off my skin for this look skin will be king next is cream blush I'll be using this bright pink from Fenty. This is in the color Bikini Martini. And I'll just take it with my finger. I will get this on the brow bone as well. A little bit of powder, Laura Mercier. Just a tiny little bit on the center of the face because it's just too much shine for my taste. If you really enjoy the shine, don't powder it. Sigma Cleanup Highlighting Brow Crayon. But you know what? I'm gonna use this on the eyelids. Really like this guy. It has a very, very soft pink color that brightens your eyes. Then I'm taking a brush and spread it. Same thing under the eyebrows. Anastasia Brow Wiz in Taupe. Eyelash curler. Mascara. Now on the lips, I'll take a brighter pink this is from Fenty all the products are going to be listed in my description so just on the center of the lip and then I take a brush when the contour of the lip is not perfect that's when I feel like it looks more undone effortless more daytime just a touch of this contour from Dior Charlotte Tilbury powder and sculpt brush I'm using this just to sculpt this is a nice brush for this step and the last thing I'm going to apply is going to be this La Bouche Rouge Highlighter, A23 brush from Anastasia. With my fingers, I will get the same thing on the eyelids, just on the center. And there we have another simple, speedy makeup look. For this look, I want to do a stronger eye. I think I'm going to do eyeliner. I'm starting with the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer Protecting. I love this primer. This one, in combination with the blurring one, wherever you need it, if you need it, it's the best. Tarte Face Tape, fantastic foundation. If you're looking for serious coverage. And this is a little bit darker than what I need right now but here's the thing 
I'm not showing anything else other than my face, so no neck, skin, no décolleté, nothing. So I could get away with something that's slightly darker. And a little bit more on the warmer side. I get it in a very, very thin layer with the Beauty Blender. Comparison with my hands, it's a bit slightly uh, warmer. Jouer Concealer in Macadamia. Then with a Beauty Blender. A light dust of powder under the eyes and center of the face. A touch of Laguna Bronzer from NARS. Same bronzer in the crease. I have applied nothing on my eyelids, no concealer, no eyeshadow, nothing. Just this powder bronzer now. The more makeup you apply for this particular look, the more you're going to make it look like evening. So the trick is to tone down, use less of everything, use less of foundation, use less of bronzer, don't do anything on the eyelids, keep it simple. Unless, of course, you've got very oily eyelids, you could apply a little bit of powder. I'm going to move on with... You know what? Eyeliner cannot be used by everybody. Let's use eyeshadow. Eyeshadow in black. I'll take this palette just because it's right here and it has the black. But you can use whatever black eyeshadow you have. This is a really good brush for this step. It's not too small, so you don't have to be very precise. It's the Sigma Pencil E30 brush at the base of the lashes. As you can see, it's not perfect, doesn't have to be perfect. And then I try to do a little flick, but you know, it's nothing too precise. Please get me closer so I can show this. It's like nothing too precise, just I don't like when the eyes finishing like so sudden with the eyeshadow so try to apply a little bit more at the outer corner like so. I want to make it a bit darker so I'm going to keep on adding. And then like I said I don't want it too precise so this edge right here I'm blending it. Mascara. Again, tinted eyebrow gel. This is the Gimme Brow. Because I feel like I've already spent quite a lot for the eyes. So I don't want to spend another minute to do my eyebrows. For the lips, I will apply this Dear Dahlia. This is a Korean brand. I'll write in the description box the color because it's written too small. It's a super comfortable formula. And this is it. I didn't apply any highlighter, however, because I didn't apply powder on the sides of the face, then it has that natural shine from the skin. All right, guys, and these were the three speedy makeup looks that I believe 
anybody can do. They are super fast, super easy to recreate. Please let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. I have to tell you, I applied makeup and I took it off completely three times today. It's something that I've never done before, but I think it's really nice when you get to have looks in one video so you could compare them. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. Like this video, share it. It would mean so much to me if you think that this video might be useful for someone, for one of your girlfriends, or just any other women. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.